Hello, this is MKFan49 with another review. Today we're reviewing Transformers Studio Series 86, Transformers the Movie Soup. Here is the front of the package, the side of the package, the back of the package, the other side of the package, the top and the bottom, and I got this a Hasbro Pulse, and let's crack him open. So here is Swoop in his pterodactyl mode. And this is nice. I gotta give Hasbro credit. They outdid themselves. You can position the wings in different forms. You could have the wings like that. You could have them like this, like he's gliding. You can reposition the head. He does come with these two missiles. He comes with two swords, which you can actually put on the side, just like that. Same for this one, you can put this sword right over here. So have it to where he's... These do not fire, but you can take them off if you want to, but in his this mode, you want to keep the missiles right where they're at. This is really nice, and... For comparison, here he is next to Sludge. Slag. I can get all of these in one shot. Snarl, I may have to go a little bit darker. So I may have to sit him up. Let me take the weapons off. Sit up, swoop. Give me a second. And there you have the complete. So we do it this way. Still can't get off in one shot. There you have the complete set of Dinobots. I know my slag is actually missing his horns again. But now, let's get down the transformation. So if you transform swoop, go ahead and remove the missiles, just like this. Then you wanna go ahead and you wanna fold up the wings like that. Go ahead and fold. You want to next go ahead and unpeg the legs from the back. Bring those down. And you want to go ahead and create the feet spurs. Just like that. You want to come to the back and fold these wings just like this to the back. Go ahead and bring out the fists. Then you want to come to the head and you want to separate. And they have to get a little. It is very tight, so you may have to. Because it's tight to get this separated. I've gotten it before and it's inside. Give me a second. Go ahead and spread the chest out just like this. You want to fold in. The chest just like that. Open up this little piece right here. Bring Swoop's head in. Close the piece up. You want to collapse the rest of this together so it can form the chest. I want to get this done correctly. Get make sure everything's done.
So it is locked in. I'm going to go ahead and then put the missiles going to go right here. Put them to the back. Just like this. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You can actually put the missiles right here. They're going to go inside. Right into these slots. There you go. And here's his weapons. He comes with a bigger sword and he comes with a smaller sword. Just like that. And you can rotate the head 360. Can look up and down, a little side to side. If you want to get more rotation, you can actually rotate this all the way to the back for 360 degree rotation. You get a bicep swivel. You can go out to the side. You get a 90 degree arm bend. You can rotate the fist. Let me make sure. Yes, 360. You can rotate the waist, 360, no ab crunch. You can kick out to the side. You get five swivel. So it's nice. You get a double knee bend due to transformation. And then you can, if you want to put him in a standard pose, there are two clips that, they, that he will stay in for the arms. There's the two posts for here and here. Here and here, you want to slowly put the wings down like that and line up the arm so they can actually go in together, like just like that. Now, for comparison, here he is next to Slag or Sludge. <clears throat> Snarl and their leader Grimlock. Now, this is a great set to own, and I gotta say, I'm impressed to have all the Dinobots now. Now, if you want to get him back into his dinosaur mode again or his pterodactyl mode. Go ahead and first remove the weapons out of his hands, just like that. Come up to the front. You want to go ahead and fold the wings back for a quick second so you can unfold the chest, just like that. You want to come and open the head, just like that. So the head will sit like that. Close it up. You want to, then you want to fold in the chest and fold out the wings, remove the missiles, fold up the arms, just like that. Once that is done, go ahead and finish unfolding the rest of the wings. There are two, like I said before, there are two tabs, but these are going to lock in for both the forearm and the bicep. For these two together, just the same on both sides. Got to get this lined up correctly. Then you want to fold in the legs just like that. You want to then come to the back, take the legs. There is a joint there, and there is a peg right here. You're going to tab into place. So you want to make sure it's secure. Same thing for this one. You want to tab into place. Overall, this is a great figure to own. And you can put the missiles right back up here once he's fully transformed. Like that. You can store the weapons. Just 
just like this. On each of the side, there are two five millimeter peg ports to attach the weapons. And I gotta say, this is a great figure. This is actually one of my favorite figures this year. And transforming him is a blast. He's pretty fun to transform. Let me get him transformed back one more time. I gotta say this is this is definitely worth the price to get a decent swoop. I definitely highly recommend this figure. So you can check Hasbro Pulse to see if they have any more in stock. You can check with Entertainment Earth. You can check with Big Bad Toy Store. And any of your local toy stores that may be getting these in stock. I don't know when Target and Walmart are going to get them in stock. But definitely this is actually worth it. So please like the video, comment down below, share the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and shorts. For any shorts and videos you may have missed, this is MK Fan Forty Nine signing out. Tell Swoop good part, good part. <laughs> <laughs>